the perfect. I was making hazelnut gelato and I made a chocolate chip cookie to sort of sandwich the gelato. I think it was an accident because I never would have known that it was going to come out that well. But then trying to recreate it was a long process. I use Gilt Edge Creamery and Butter. It's important that you don't try to rush the room temperature process. So leaving it out overnight just kind of ensures that you're going to be able to start your cookies at the right temperature. So I'm going to add both sugars at the same time. I don't know if a lot of people use professional mixers. I think that makes a big difference because you, you're never going to get that same sort of fluffy texture that you would with like a whisk or a spoon. It would take you forever. I'm going to add the vanilla, which I do three caps. You should always add your eggs one at a time instead of mixing them all together at once. Now I'm going to switch to the paddle attachment and mix in the dry ingredients. I'm going to add the baking soda. I'm going to put half in first and then I just pulse this instead of turning it on stir because I want to mix the dough as little as I possibly can. And like there, that's done. Now I'm going to put it in a bowl so I can mix the chocolate chips in by hand. I use an equal amount of chocolate chips that I do to flour, which is a lot. That's probably why they're so good. Originally, I played with quite a few different ways to form the cookies. I tried rolling it. We tried using cutters. I was, just wasn't happy with either of those methods, so I went back to using an ice cream scooper. I take a little hand coating and I just smash them. I bake these cookies at 350-degree oven. I have found sort of my sweet spot four minutes, and then I turn them, and then I do three minutes, and then one minute of convection air. Ooh, it's ready. Ooh, so let's see. It's a soft cookie. It has a lot of chocolate chips, and it's really sweet, but it also has a nice saltiness. Texture-wise, it's kind of luxurious, I guess you'd say, because it's very sort of melt in your mouth, but it also has a crispy crust on the outside that I think takes it to another level.